Welcome Aquarius to your sharper reading for November. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you and your chakras this month. We've got the throat chakra coming out. Lots of communication, lots of listening, lots of creativity as well. So if you're feeling that creative flow, now you know why. It's open and ready to go. And talking about that abundance going straight to the base root chakra. Wow. Talking about, literally talking about the abundance, right? Communicating about this abundance, about how you love, how you feel, how you feel stable. Um, really getting in there. And it's allowing you to shine. So really feeling the sunshine over here, the same card as the sun. And people see you beaming over here. Um, and it's probably because you're also very open, very communicative, um, and they have all these great ideas coming out and feeling the abundance of whether it's love, money, maybe it's everything, whatever it is, right? Having a passion and pleasure savor your life. I see some, a lot of communication during this Thanksgiving time for those of you in America, and I really do see that. It's like, I'm going to go in here and talk about the things that I'm doing, really, you know, savoring life with my family, feeling of abundance in family, in love, um, things of this nature. Listen to your intuition. Nice. So with the creative ideas and the things that you want to get to, um, to really want to make you shine, make sure you're listening to your intuition to really build that abundance up. <clears throat> okay. And be the bearer. Use power and wisdom. And that's why you really want to make sure you're using your intuition so you're using that ultimate uh, wisdom within, right? I'm talking about all these doors opening. Look at all the doors opening with the Ten of Cups. Wow, guys. For your family, for your friends, for yourself, having that Ten of Cups, feeling the over, um, almost overachieving over here within the abundance, really feeling like you're on top this month. Really opening up these doors. So, with the abundance over here, it's, see what this says really fast. It's talking about this base chakra. It's talking about that stability, having the balance within the abundance, reminding you that abundance is available for you at, at all times. It's a natural state of being, and it resonates in all the expansive vibrations. So, if the bills have been piling up and there seems to be a lack of finances to go around, I know that the abundance is at hand. We see that with the Seven of Cups. It's on its way. Abundance comes in many different forms, not just money. It comes in love, joy, gratitude, healing, um, all kinds of things, right? Feeling stable, lovely, vibrant. Take a moment each day to tune in and feel the acknowledge, feel and acknowledge, excuse me, the abundance within your life. Become aware of how you may be sabotaging or shutting yourself down to a powerful energy and do what is required to allow the flow to occur once again. You may wish to ask your angels for help to clear any blockages, do a guided meditation, or even work with some powerful crystals, okay, like jade. Uh, you are deserving of the abundance in your life now and always. It is your natural birthright. Abundance is showering its blessings upon you now and always. Be open to receive its light, and it feels like you already feel the light. You have it shining through you right now, saying, look at what I have. Even if it's not tons, I'm still, still savoring it right now right look at all this stuff that's coming towards you you got the seven of cups and the ten of cups wow and pretty much it's saying if you don't feel like you have any abundance within your life listen to your intuition you have all kinds you have a home you have a family look at that being the emperor there's some kind of stability going on, feeling like right now there could be a Midas touch. Speaking about this brings in this Midas touch. It brings you into the all-knowing of the emperor. The emperor knows what he has. Like I said, if you don't feel like you have any of this abundance, use your intuition to say, wow, well, you know what? I guess I do. I have clothes on my back, food on the table. I have a beautiful kids, family, home, job, car. More abundance than you realize, right? Feeling like the emperor. You might even be talking to someone and communicating with them, and it kind of opens you up. You run into this person who doesn't have as much as you have, and then you realize, wow, I can really savor my life because, you know what, now I kind of feel like an emperor. Um, wow, you know? 
maybe I was whining because I didn't have this or that, but then I go home and I realize, wow, that poor person, I actually, why am I whining and crying? Um, I have so much more than what I realized. <clears throat> Having the inspiration um, to shine, seeing and allowing yourself to see what you have, allowing yourself to understand you can have so much more by using the intuition, speaking of it in a positive tone, brings in the Knight of Coins. So no matter what, you still have this abundance coming towards you. You still have this opening coming towards you with the Seven of Cups with the Knight of Coins. So even if you don't see exactly what everything is coming at you, you have more coming anyways. It's just slow and persistence is going to win the race. The rabbit can run however fast it wants, but the turtle always keeps winning, right? Ten of coins, you're seeing the ten of coins, listening to your intuition. You can savor that ten of coins. You can see the success within yourself. Speak of this success. Speak of what you want out of success. Talking about this new job, this new opportunity. Wow, and having a service to you. You could have this this earth sign around you, Aquarius, that really is also kind of picking up the pace for you to be at service for you, offering you with this job, giving you something. Um, maybe they're just giving you the extra ups that you need to become this emperor, get you into this emperor mode, um, however it is. Wow, look at all of the earth cards. Bringing in the prosperities at hand, knowing that you know what you have, reaping, sowing, harvesting, the abundance with the imprints, again with the abundance, saying you do have abundance and you're bringing in more abundance and then clearly understanding and knowing and being and keeping yourself in the, the knowing of it and making sure that your law and attracting even more so, really keeping the faith alive while wow. It's crazy. Yes, really keeping that faith alive for the blessings that are coming in with the law and the attraction. So it's almost like you have all of them all in a row. Wow. You know, and for some of you, if it's a good relationship, you have this new relationship coming in that is going to really, and it may be this earth sign who's really just going to knock your socks off over here. For some of you, I feel like you didn't know that you were abundant with this earth sign. And then all of a sudden, they came in. They start supporting you. They want to offer you this date with a page of coins or however it is. And then you notice that they're slowly moving towards you. Take it how it resonates. If it doesn't resonate with you, throw it away. Um, but then it puts you in the all-knowing of, my gosh, I can't believe this. I law and attracted maybe love. And here they come in. And it's like you know that they're the one for you. Because it's almost like you're calling in a soulmate. <clears throat> That's for some of you. For others of you, it's just this support system of this earth sign. I is going to really help you. And it's because of all the communication and the listening and everything that you're doing. It's going to give you even more than what you already have. Uh, let's grab the healing deck over here. Very beautiful. Might have even with the five of swords had to stop fighting yourself to allow this person to come towards you. Sensitivity, opening up your heart chakra to the sensitivity. I do feel like for some of you, maybe you were trying to make a compromise with this person. Like I said, if the person doesn't exist on that realm, throw it away. But I do feel like they were fighting for your attention. You weren't giving them the attention until all of a sudden you just, I don't know, the more you communicate, they realize, you know what, this is the one for me. Uh, maybe you were trying to block them, something of this nature. Didn't realize that they were the ones you were manifesting the whole time. Um, but then all of a sudden, Opening your heart chakra through all the abundance and, I don't know, getting stable. Wow, I don't know. It's really crazy because then all of a sudden you see the sensitivities within them. They have this way of persistently showing you the love, which then allows you to say, Oh, wow, we have more in common. I didn't realize you were my Ten of Cups. For others of you, it's just using that sensitivity to really get down and nurture yourself for the Ten of Cups, to really bring in the abundance, to see what more you have, to keep the faith alive, to really bring in 
the success and satisfaction that you need within yourself. Very beautiful reading, my friends. Keep up with that communication. And uh, it looks like it's just continue to keep being the bear that you are. Because the bear says use that power with wisdom for better understanding through the communication. Till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.